All right, today we're gonna to be installing uh, swing out tool cases. Um, they're gonna mount right here and here. And I already see one thing, I'm not sure if it's gonna work the way I want because my bed light button is right there and I think they install right there. So that might be an in the way kind of thing, which kind of might be a pain in the butt, a little less convenient. And I think some of the screw mounts might mount into here. And if that's the case, um, I hope the bed liner uh, isn't so thick in there that I can't get the screws mounted, but we'll see. We're gonna start with the passenger side first because there's not a light switch on this side. This was a real pain to open with all the clips. So at least the boxes are really secure. I think that's just some shipping from the back. Okay, got a Ford logo on it, cool. Got an instruction manual, a little uh, removable tray, keys, and I'm betting this is the mounting hardware. Take a quick look at the instructions. And here's all the mounting hardware. So apparently this right here does mount on that box link. Um, so again, hope the threads are usable or else it's gonna be a real short project. All right, seems to be working with the impact, which is good. All right. Cool. All right, so we've got that uh, mount mounted. On to the next part, we've got to take out the tail light. Yay. The instructions are calling for an eight millimeter, but this little, uh, is that a five sixteenths? It's on there just right. Those screws popped out super easy. Well, let's see if we can get this to come out without, uh... well, I'm going to need two hands for this. Okay, we got the tail light off. It, I swear, it feels like it wants to break it on you. Granted, this truck's over four years old, so that might have something to do with it. But you've got uh, this guy right here and that one. And then you've got a uh, little guy right here. This is what was hanging on for dear life. Basically, I was, you kind of pull it straight back. This, the bottom part seemed to give first and then a little bit of wiggling and then it just creaks and crack. Sounds like it's creaking and cracking and then pop, comes right out. So just uh, don't force it, but just be firm with it. Okay, we're gonna mount this bracket with the uh, little pins here facing up because they're gonna, they're gonna set to those uh, little hinges right there. So you've got uh, three holes. And the strange thing with mine is, oh, I see, never mind. Okay, gotta go in through here. Got it. Go ahead and slide that middle bolt through. Um, holds it in place. And there's these, these spacers here that are for the top and the bottom because the holes are a little oversized. And this one, uh, the middle one is not. So I'm gonna bolt that one up first. I wouldn't tighten it all the way so that way you can kind of line it up. So just kind of get it snug enough to where you can still, still move this around a little bit. While you're at it, go ahead and grab a 13 millimeter wrench uh, to hold the uh, back of the nut when you decide to tighten all these down. Okay, we've got those in. You can kind of see how that mounts. All right, we've got them set on the hinges. And let's see if we can get it to... What are we doing wrong? Are we missing something? Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Uh, nose dive load, you had to kind of lift it up a little to hit the bar. So it's, I don't know if I need to maybe adjust this some more, maybe tilt it this way a little bit, but I'll try. It also comes with a lock here. So you can actually lock it. And you got a little bit of access to stuff here while it's uh, closed, but it definitely is meant for swinging out. It looks like it stays fairly shut, uh, even unlocked, which is good if you're wanting to kind of get in and out of it. All right, now we're gonna attempt to uh, put the taillight back in. Wish me luck. These boxes are rated for 75 pounds. Um, you know, some good ideas for it, cause you know, it's not like it's not like it's steel and you can't cut into it, but at least uh, when you shut your gate and you lock it, you can't release that latch, uh, which would allow you to take the whole box. Um, Oh, one other thing, when you're trying to lock it, don't be like me and uh, not read the directions and go crazy. This right here, this little tab, you twist the whole lock first to lock it, to close it, and then you turn the key to lock it. Instead of, I was trying to turn the key just to lock it and I couldn't get it to lock it. I was like, what is going on here? Um, ideas for storage in here. You know, if you're going on a trip or, you know, keep maybe a gallon of antifreeze in there, maybe a quarter of oil. Uh, and here I'm keeping my hitch and toe straps and stuff like that, stuff I really would like to, you know, declutter the back area of my truck with, the back seat. And uh, that's all real easy, and I'm going to do the other side here in a little bit, and uh, we'll be all done. Uh, just an installation note and kind of a frustration. Um, the other one says undercover on the tab. Well, it did not include the bolts to mount... this piece because it assumes you have the, uh, the plates still for that and uh, mine never came with the plates. Uh, I did buy a set and I hope I can find them because it's got the screws with it and now I've got to go dig up and find those that have been sitting around for who knows how long. Okay, one last tip I learned from mounting this one. So if you want it to close perfectly like that every time and not have to fidget with it, um, Go ahead and put it on the hinges and then tighten this bracket. Uh, go ahead and put it on the hinges, snap it in place, then tighten these down, and uh, that will line it up perfectly for you.